how do I become more responsible? If you got into an age or if you got into a point in your life where you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm irresponsible. I have a lot of stuff I don't do. And you're tired of that, you're embarrassed of that. You're, you've reached the bottom where it's just like, man, it's just, it's, it's embarrassing now. More people are starting to bring it up like, man, you haven't done this, you don't do this, why don't you do this? And you start, you've matured enough where you figured out, this is, this is all me, this is lack of responsibility. How do you turn up, where, do you, where does one order responsibility? How does one up the responsible game? You just like, just start doing things. You've never done it before, how the, you're gonna start now? A disciplined person is a responsible person. So if you free frame it, you think it a little bit different. It's like, well, if I want to raise my responsibility, I got to elevate my discipline. That's it. And that one, there's a formula. There is a way to raise your, your discipline. Easy. It takes work. It takes a little bit of time to get momentum. How much? A few hours. You could be, you could be more responsible by the end of the day. If you start right now. Because remember, all you want to do is elevate your discipline. You want to raise your discipline. And there's a bunch of benefits that come with discipline. But we're going to keep it real simple. How do you become more responsible? Become more disciplined. How do you raise your discipline? By doing the things you don't want to do when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. cake that's it you do the things that you don't want to do when you don't want to do them but you know that you should every single time the moment you do them you're gonna feel better why because discipline is in direct proportion to confidence the moment you raise your discipline you're gifted confidence Now you're more responsible. Automatically. How do you know? Because you did the things that you didn't want to do. Most of the time, or all of the time, you've been not doing the things that you're supposed to do. Hence, you being irresponsible. You didn't do the thing that you had to do. You're so irresponsible. Now the formula is, oh, I gotta do the things that I don't want to do, but I, but I know that I should when I don't want to. I'm gonna build discipline and I'm being responsible. There you go. There's your formula to become more responsible, become more disciplined. Bonus, there's bonuses to that. We won't get too much, we'll just talk about one bonus. You're gonna become more confident. Who doesn't want more confidence? Because you could take that discipline and confidence and they're yours forever as long as you don't lose them as long as you don't stop doing the things because they could get snatched from you they get taken away because it's a gift it's a gift by a higher power how do i get my confidence taken away stop being disciplined become that good old irresponsible person you've been which is easy to do careful because it's roots it's your brand you've branded yourself that way by your habits so you got to replace your old habits with your new habits once they're grounded once you taste it in these roots start growing and they start grabbing, I can almost guarantee you that you'll never be undisciplined again because you're gonna love how confidence, hey, if you're irresponsible, you're not confident. I tell you that, man, I'm irresponsible. You have no confidence. You're probably not getting stuff done. You have a lot of loose ends. You're not really successful all across the board. Health, wealth, love, spirituality, generosity. One or multiple of those are pretty low. Why? Because you're not disciplined. You have no confidence. You got to raise those. You got to raise that confidence. How do you raise that confidence? You don't do that. It's gifted to you. Oh, how? By being disciplined. Be disciplined and you'll start being responsible. So the question was, how do I become more responsible? There's your answer. Become more disciplined. How do I become more disciplined? 
doing the things that you don't want to do when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. What are those things? Shh, listen to your conscience. If you've been irresponsible for all your life, it wouldn't take you more than half a second to know what that next thing you need to do is. And you can start it right now. You can look around, look around. And you know, you're probably giggling right now going, damn, there is this, this, this. And then you'll probably stretch or yawn or it's, you know, it, it, it's your nervous reaction to, ah, but I don't really want to do it. I'll do it later. Yeah, exactly. You'll do it later because you're an irresponsible punk. You want, here's a fact that'll, hopefully it'll sting. And you're like, man. You're responsible, therefore you have no confidence. I have confidence. You can have courage. Don't confuse them. There's courage and there's confidence. There's a difference. You may think that your courage is that you're brave, that you'll go stand up to anybody, that you'll you'll go talk to that person, that you that you that's your that's another one. You know your your confidence isn't the way you dress. Oh, I got real cool fits. I look in fire. I look in that. That's not confidence. That's your outfit. That's your fashion sense. You have good fashion sense. You could be courageous. But that's not confidence. Confidence is only measured by the level of discipline that you have. And if you have no discipline, how can you tell if you're not disciplined? Go check out if you've done all your responsibilities. How do you look? Are you fit? Are you lean? Do you have your do you have your finances in check? Do you understand the laws of, of the universe and, and have a relationship with the source of creation? Can you help others do the same? If you're not responsible, you have no confidence. Confidence is love. Confidence is love for self. Confidence is how much you love yourself. So by the way, an irresponsible person, we go back to the facts. An irresponsible person has no confidence. An irresponsible person doesn't love himself or herself. It's just the way it goes. I'm not making this up. These are the laws. If you have no confidence, if you have no, I'm sorry, if you're irresponsible, you have no confidence. You have no confidence, why? Because you have no discipline. Someone with no confidence is the same, is the same thing as saying someone with no self-love. You don't have a relationship with your, your with yourself. You don't trust yourself. You don't love yourself. Now we're getting into a little bit more deep, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you the next one. And after that, I won't get into more. That's for another video. I just wanted to answer your question about discipline. If you don't love yourself, you have very little to no love for yourself. You can't give what you don't have. So you talk about oh, I love my my kids. I love my parents. I love my loved ones. Whatever. You can't give what you don't have. So if you love yourself this much, that's all you love them. You can love them with all you got, but this is all you got. You want to love your loved ones more, get some more self-love. That's gifted to you by the higher power. Remember, that's another word for confidence. Self-love, confidence, a relationship with yourself, a trust with yourself. Elevate you from liking you to loving you. That way you can love your loved ones more. How do I get more of that? Build your discipline. It's like a muscle. A responsible person has a little bit more discipline than an irresponsible person. A disciplined person is really responsible and has a lot of confidence. Discipline is built by doing the things that you don't want to do when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. There's your answer right there. Now get to work. Look around. I know there's already stuff that you don't want to do. Check out my other videos. I talk more about this because there's more to it. But just in a basic way, look around. Your phone's probably filthy. You don't clean it till it's just not working no more. You can start there if you're watching this on my phone. I don't want to clean. I'll clean it later, right? You know you should. Probably wash your hands after. I don't want to wash my hands. Do the things that you don't want to do when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. And your consciousness is feeding them to you all day long. Do this. Now nah, do this. Oh, yawn. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, do it later. Listen. Pay attention. Your consciousness is telling you the things you should be doing, but you're ignoring it. 
because you don't think it's necessary. But you're getting to the point in your life where you're like, man, I, I, I am a little responsible. Kind of embarrassing at this point. I know, right? Then get to it. Get to work. Start doing the things you don't want to do that you, when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. Eating better, exercising. Okay, I'm not going to get more into those. Check out my other videos. I'll talk about it there. But that's your answer. More responsibility means become more disciplined. How do I build my discipline? Do that. The so things you don't want to do when you don't want to do them, but you know that you should. And watch how that confidence comes in. Feels good.